Hello everyone, welcome to hands-on IC10 CM coding tutorial, session 17, inclusion term and includes. First, an overview of session 17. In this session, I will talk about what are inclusion terms and includes. I will give you some examples for inclusion term and also some examples for includes. So what are inclusion terms and includes? Inclusion terms and includes are basically two types of uh, instructional notations or coding notes or coding conventions. So depend on uh, the doctor, we have uh, usually different ways to describe the same disease condition. So the inclusion term and includes basically are the synonyms of a code description. In some other cases, the inclusion terms and includes actually will list the examples of a code description. So since different providers have different way to describe the same disease condition, uh, that's why we need medical coding. So medical coding basically um, will give you a standard way to describe a patient uh, disease. So an ICD-10 CM code will uniquely identify a disease without ambiguity. So in this case, ICD-10 CM code are the standard language for uh, this classification of diseases. Now let's look at the inclusion term. So inclusion term basically are coding notes for ICD-10 CM code. So the inclusion term are usually listed directly under code dis description. For 2019 version of ICD-10 CM code, we have around 6,000 of uh, inclusion terms. So next I will go through uh, three examples of inclusion term for three codes. So please open your ICD-10CM book to follow along. The first one is F53.0, postpartum depression. So another way to describe the same condition is postnatal depression, NOS. NOS stands for non otherwise specified or postpartum depression NOS. So let's go to the coding book here. F53 here, F53. F530, postpartum depression. If you click the details button here, it will show all the coding nodes. Here we see uh, two inclusion ter uh, terms, postnatal depression, NOS, and postpartum depression, NOS. So in this case, they are basically the synonyms for postpartum depression. So the second example is F60.0. Paranoid personality disorder. So there are many ways to uh, describe the same condition. Let's go to the uh, coding book. Here you can use a search functionality functionality to get the uh, code quickly. F sixty dot. So click the book sign to go to the. Uh, Tabular list. Here you can expand the uh, notes. We see we have five ways to describe the same condition: paranoid personality disorder. You can say uh, expensive paranoid personality disorder, or fanatic personality. Or you can see just to say paranoid personality. So all those five ways to uh, describe the same um, patient condition: F sixty. Dot zero. The final example is for this uh, inclusion term is N85.4, male position of uterus. So let's search for that code. N85.4. So you can expand the details for this uh, code here. For male position of uterus, N85.4, we have 
inclusion term like antiversion of uterus, retroflexion of uterus, or retroversion of uterus. So in this case, in this case, the three uh, inclusion terms here is just uh, give examples of the male position of the code uh, de uh, description. Next, let's talk about the includes. So includes usually appears for the code categories. The code category is the three-digit code. So we have around 400 of uh, includes nodes. So I will give you two examples. One is the I-21, acute myocardial infarction. Let's go to the coding book here. I-21. Go to the tabular list. Here, I-21 is acute, acute uh, myocardial infarction. So let's list the details here. So it has a bunch of uh, includes term. So as I said before, the includes nodes are for the um, category, category code, I-21. So you can see for the same uh, acute uh, myocardial infarction, you can see cardiac infarction, coronary artery embolism, or coronary artery rupture. So all those seven, there are seven ways to describe the same condition, I-21. The next example is C49. Search for that. C49. Here, C49 is malignant neoplasm of other connective and soft tissue. So we can expand the uh, detail sign here. And then we have a bunch of, you know, in this case, is examples of um, the code dis uh, description C49. So this, the first one is malignant neoplasm of blood vessels, and then malignant neoplasm of bursa or cartilage. So all this are the concrete examples of the uh, uh, malignant neoplasm of other connective and soft tissues. So in this session, we have gone through the uh, in, uh, inclusion term and includes. So basically different doctor, different provider have a slightly different way to describe the same condition. So we use IC10 uh, CM code to standardize the uh, different uh, description. So the inclusion term and includes will actually capture all those variations of uh, describing the same patient condition. So that's the end of this session 17. Thank you very much for watching.